Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we will discuss about what is time boxes and their use in rally. How to use it. Before proceeding further, let's understand today's agenda. Then we will discuss with practical content. I will show you practically how you will use it time boxes in rally or in agile central. So in this video, discuss about what is time box uses of time box in rally with iterations with releases and with milestone so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates so whenever we are talking about milestone first of all uh, milestone or uh, time boxes are basically time box page allows us to manage iterations releases and milestones together so whenever we are talking about time box, it will contains iteration, release and milestone all three together. So uh, for opening at your time box, you just have to go to plan. From plan, click on time boxes and from time box, you can see three contains are available inside the time box. So what you can perform using time boxes like your iteration, releases and uh, milestone. So how to deliver brief repeating time box which produces intermediate deployable code is an iteration. When we are talking about release, what to deliver mid-range time box which produces larger feature or code over the course of consecutive iterations. And in milestone, actual delivery event, deployment, deadlines and uh, date that is important to the business are reported. We can estimate their techniques. Uh, like historical velocity based on iteration velocity and time capacity as well so if we are talking about uh, uh, iterations releases and milestone we just have to go to iterations when we uh, we want to see the iterations so you can see two iterations are available here where you can select and perform particular options we can also see your charts. If you have updated with the particular details, your chart will be updated with iterations. You can see here velocity of your iterations accepted during iterations, accepted after iteration and not accepted. All the complete chart will be available here. So if you want to see only list view, you can see the iterations. So I've already created one video on iteration, but still I will give you a brief uh, detail about iteration inside the time box. So an iteration is a single complete development time box, typically two or two, four weeks in a length. An iteration produces intermediate deployable code that has been discussed, designed, implemented and tested. Teams work on a single iteration at a time. Iterations are also referred to as a sprint. So if you really want to learn about iterations, I've already mentioned the URL in description tab. You can watch that video and you're able to understand about iteration, how, what is iteration, how to create an iteration, how to perform practically inside the Agile Center. So let's move to the release. Other videos also available in description tab about release and third one is also there about milestone i've already created three videos independently but still i will give you brief introduction about these three terms so when we are talking about release just go to release here you can see whatever release available inside your project so a release is a mid-range unit of time box for planning and tracking consecutive iterations built towards the larger goals or themes that had been planned in a release Releases deliver incremental user functionality and allows teams of teams to coordinate iteration work with each other. Releases do not represent an actual release in the sense of a deployment or shipment. Uses milestone to reflect these events so that you can execute on cadence and deliver on demand. So if you want to perform Particular operations like deleting, editing, these operations are easily available when you are selecting inside the time boxes about release. So let's move to the time, uh, milestone. So milestone is a third component inside the time boxes where 
milestones are target dates for events that are important to the business. Setting these dates in a rally is beneficial to program product development and project managers as well as product owners to track critical dates. A milestone could be a market event, a trade show, or even an important code deployment. The date field is optional. So whenever we are working with our time boxes and selecting these particular contents, once the data is available, you can see the charts or the velocity of particular time box. So release I have already presented here. You can see for the uh, not for the release. So select this because we have single components. It's it's not going to popular one. But when you have the multiple data inside this release, you are able to see this is enabled for you. Uh, iteration I have already shown to you about the charts. So we can perform multiple I uh, multiple operation with these. So work with the time box is a common actions for iteration releases and milestone include filtering iteration on the page. You can filter out show filter or add the filter or uh, you can even see the fields available in this. So it's exactly same for all three. You can even attach or download complete report on selecting this download CSV of the view. So whatever field is available here, you can download it. So when we want to save the settings of a page or later use or share with a team or others, we can create a saved view. We can also share directly on clicking on this view with some other person or if we want to provide the feedback about this functionality, we can also include the feedback here. So this is all what we can cover in this video about time boxes and they contained inside the time box. If you really want to learn about these three components, please go to description tab and watch in mentally about three component which I have created in my previous session. So this is all about time box in Rally or in Agile Center. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.